out here on a solo trip today out of Dulard. We idling down a canal. Our camp is uh, down that way around a quarter of a mile. But uh, this is my absolute favorite time of year to target speckled trout in the closed end lakes down here in Dulard. Can't wait to get out there. Woke up a little late this morning, but I do that occasionally. Just want to show everybody a little scenery from Dulard here on our way out. Gotta call and get the bridge open. Terrio Bridge. Hey, can I get the bridge open, please? Yeah, get it right up, Mike. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. summertime we gotta run for miles and miles to go catch the trout on the coast you know I did about a 45 minute run out to a Cobra Dree out of Lower Dew Lodge but this time of year these trout they work their way into all the close area lakes and bays and uh, it's really phenomenal fishing right now Just stopped and fueled up and I had to get a little go-go juice this morning. Got a no wake zone right here, so take it easy. Just got to our first fishing spot. I want to share everybody what we're using. This is the two inch glow by Mojo Tackle. Another popping cord. 
I stopped here because I saw this slick line. That's usually uh, it's usually where these trout are feeding inside these slicks. First fish of the day. I'll see you later, buddy. It wasn't quite big enough. Right now, what we're doing is we just trying to locate these trout. This is a real big lake. And what I'm doing is just fan casting everywhere I can until we get a bump. quality fish here. Keepers already. This is, this is a good trout. Long and skinny. That's three. Number four.
six. number eight. Nope, shit, number nine don't make it. absolutely everywhere out here. That's a good trout there. That would be number 10. Ah! 
five more to go. white trout in the mix. Another nice, nice fish. Nice new large speckle trout. that was number 12 or 13 I got to count that was number 12 guys we need three more we only been out here about 45 minutes Be number 13. Looks like he's over 13 to me. Give him a quick measure. A quarter inch shot. We need three more. There he is. This 
gonna be lucky number 13 here. There we go. Two more for the limit. You know, with this shrimp, with the Mojo 2 inch shrimp, the weighted head on it keeps that shrimp, ooh, keeps that shrimp in the water column swimming like it should. It's not hanging by its head. So it looks real natural. So, really, you don't really need to pop this uh, pop this bait much. Just just this wave action out here actually makes that makes that shrimp dance like he uh, like he's alive. You already got 13 beautiful trout in the boat. You just you can't beat this. All these small fish. Every time you see me do that, one of those small fish grabs the tail, tries to take off with it, but. Number 14. Yeah, that's a good one. We can keep him in. He's a head shaker. This will be number 14. Nice trout. That's a hammer right there. This shrimp is caught, this shrimp right here caught 14 specks. That wind starting to pick up. Come on, number 15. Snapshot of the box. 15 specs. The two inch Mojo shrimp. Very durable product. Y'all gotta check it out. Great day. 15 specs in an hour. Head back to the camp to go clean them up. That was uh, probably the quickest I caught 15 trout in a long time. I mean, they are just, they are just pawing down here in New Lodge. It is the day, it is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, 2024. And uh, I mean, I just had a phenomenal day. It was, uh, it 
times almost every cast I caught a trout, not all keepers, but uh, man, it, it was awesome. The wind picked up a little bit toward the end, but it didn't seem to stop that, that trout from biting. This is another, another shot of a marina out here. Five, it must be here. Eat lunch. Back at the camp, we're gonna get these fish cleaned up, and uh, we'll see y'all next time.